G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to work out the area of composite shapes. That is, the area within each of these shapes here. And as you can see, they contain things like rectangles, as well as triangles, as well as circles. So I've got a whole variety of these here to show you. Now, the way that we do these, the steps are pretty much the same that I'd recommend each time. And I've put these out over here. So the first thing that you'd want to do is when we work these out, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the measurements into the same base units, but also the required base units. What I mean by this, say that you actually were working at the area of a floor, you wouldn't want to work it out in square millimetres or square inches, because you know th these wouldn't be a useful measurement. You'd be wanting to work out things in square metres. So first off, you put the measurements into those units that you require them to be in, and also they're going to be the same base units. Then what we're going to do is we're going to break these into simpler shapes. Uh, as you can see here, we might break this rectangle here, this shape here, into a rectangle and a semicircle, or maybe we break this into some rectangles here. We're then going to work out the area of these simpler shapes, and then do a bit of addition, subtraction, finally, to work out the total area. Okay, so let's go through and do these. And we're going to follow these same steps every time. If you do this, you won't go too badly. So let's get right into this. Okay, to our first example, we have this L shape here, and we're going to work out the area within it. So let's go to step one here. We're going to put the measurements into the required or the same base units. Now, centimetres is okay. We haven't got any specific units we have to put them in. And we're going to also notice that they're all in centimetres. So this step is already done. We'd only have to change them if there was different units, or we say we want them in different units. And we'll see an example of that a bit later on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to break these into simpler shapes. Now, just a word of caution here, because I've seen students do this a lot. They go to break this shape into two separate shapes and they put a line right here. <laughs> now look, this is not going to make it into a simpler shape. Now you're left with uh, this shape and this shape, neither of which are easier to work out the actual area for. This is not the type of shape we're looking at. We're looking at simpler shapes. Shapes like rectangles, triangles, circles, even semicircles. We're going to break this into two rectangles. So by putting a line here, we could have also put one here. But we only need to put one line here. We've broken into one rectangle here and another rectangle here. So now let's work out the area of these simpler shapes. We have two rectangles. We have this rectangle here, we'll call rectangle one, and this rectangle here, we'll call rectangle two. So first for rectangle one. Okay, so area is equal to length times width. So what's the length of this particular rectangle? You're going to see that it's six centimeters. Uh, we're going to multiply that by the width. And what's the width of this? It's four centimeters. So six centimeters by four centimeters, we have area one, which is six fours, a 24. And this is going to be an answer in centimeters squared. A centimeter squared, literally, we have 24 of these centimeters squared. You can, don't believe me, you can go through and count them. So now let's work out the area of rectangle two here. So like all rectangles, the area is equal to the length times the width. Okay, so let's treat one side like the length and the other side like the width, and we'll go from there. So this length here, we'll call that the length. So how long is that? You can see that's seven centimeters. Now just watch out, it's not 11 centimeters, that goes all the way here. We are looking for this to here, okay? Now the width, what have we got? It's this particular shape here. It's times two centimeters. And all right, so what do we have? Seven times two, we have 14 centimeters squared. So this is just a little hint here. I recommend if you get stuck on these and you frequently get these wrong as you go along and get the side lengths wrong, go through and trace them with your pen like this as you do them, and it will probably guide your eye and make it a lot easier for you. So what is the total area here? Well, it's going to be equal to area one plus area two. We're going to add these two guys together. So area one, which is 24, and area two, which is 14. We're going to go 24 plus 14, and this is in centimeters squared. This would be equal to 38 centimeters squared. Pretty simple, right? Okay, that's the first one. So go through and do those steps and those little tips I've said, and you're gonna go okay. What about we have a look at this on another example? Okay, for example number two, once again, we have very rectangular shapes here, very blocky sort of shape, looks like a bit of a U, and we're going to work out the area within it. So first off, put the measurements into the required or the same base units. 
They're all in centimetres, and I'm happy with centimetres. It hasn't asked for anything in particular. So our answer is end up going to be in centimetres squared. So let's break it now into simpler shapes. Now we can go through and break this into three rectangles. That would be a totally valid thing to do, is to break this up into three rectangles, one, two, and three, work out the area of each, and then add these together to get the total area. But I'm going to do this slightly differently. There's a different way you can do this, which gives you the same answer. I'm going to start off with a big rectangle here. This is going to be my big rectangle, this entire part right here. I'm going to call that rectangle one. And from that, I'm going to take away rectangle two. That's this guy in here. So we're going to get rectangle one and we're going to take away rectangle two. Also a valid way of doing this. So let's do that. We have rectangle one, which is this entire shape here. So let's get this first. The area of rectangle one is equal to the length times the width. Okay, so what's the length here? Well, we know that we have this one here, which is seven centimeters. So we have this side, but we need this side. What's that going to be? It's going to be three plus three plus two. You can see it's this side plus this side plus this side. Three plus three plus two equals eight. So seven times eight centimeters. This is equal to 56 centimeters squared. This is area one. Okay, let's work out now rectangle number two, the little one here. Okay, we have this area which is equal to the length times the width. All right, let's do this. We have a length which is four centimeters and we have a width, which is this one here, which is three centimeters. Four times three, we have an area of 12 centimeters squared. So how are we working this out? Well, our total area is going to equal our rectangle one minus rectangle two. So what does this equal? Rectangle one is 56 and we're taking away 12. What do we get? 56 take away 12. We get our answer of 44 centimeters squared. All right, so hopefully you got that and that was really good. Maybe you broke that up into three different rectangles and maybe you want to do that right now just to check. But if you do that, you'll also get that same answer of 44 centimeters squared. Not too bad. Follow the steps. You'll be fine. Now we're going to get to some more tricky ones. So let's do that. Okay, to our third example, we have this rectangle here, which has a triangle taken out of it. So we're going to work out the area within this shape here. So first thing, put the measurements into the same base units, into the required base units. This one, we're looking for the same base units because we have meters, 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 but this one is in millimeters. Now, I have other videos where I look at how to convert between measurements here, and this is what you'll have to do here. Uh, we have millimeters to meters. There is a thousand millimeters, which is equal to one meter. So we go 11,000 divided by a thousand. This is equal to 11 meters. So do that step first. The second step, break into simpler shapes. So what shapes do we have here? As I said at the start, we have this big rectangle here. So we have the first shape, shape number one, which is the rectangle. Then what we have is this second shape here, which is a triangle. Okay, so shape number one and shape number two, let's work out our areas here. So first off, let's work out the area of our rectangle. We have a rectangle where the area is equal to the length times the width and What's the length of this one? From here to here is 11 meters. And this is multiplied by six meters. So 11 times six is 66 meters squared. Okay, that's the area of our rectangle there. Our second shape that we have is the triangle. And the area of a triangle, as you may remember, is half the base times the height. Let's work out how area of our triangle here. So what do we have? We have the base here. Now from here to here, this is our base. How big is this? Now you're going to see we have 11 meters going across here. This is two and this is one. So 11, take away two, take away one. This is eight meters. So it's going to be half times eight times this height here. And now we have the height, which is five meters. So multiply by five meters. All right. So what's our answer when we do this? Half of eight, which is four times five, this is 20 meters squared. 
All right, so how are we gonna work out our answer now? We're gonna get the area of the rectangle and we're gonna subtract the area of the triangle. 66 take away 20. If we do that, 66 take away 20, we get our answer, which is 44 meters squared. All right, cool. Hopefully you got that answer as well. <laughs> and look, we're going along quite well here. So let's go to our final question that we had. Okay, final question. What do we have here? As you can see, we have a rectangular shape. I guess you could almost put a little line down here and you might be able to see it a little bit better. But we have this rectangular shape and to it, we have a semicircle, a half circle attached to it. So we're gonna work out the area of our rectangle and then we're gonna work out the area of our half circle. We're gonna add these two guys together. So let's do that. So first off, put the measurements into the required or the same base units. Now look, I'd be putting this in to meters. I think it makes more sense. And as we said before, there's a thousand millimeters equals one meter. So let's change this here across to meters. This is equal to six meters. Cool. All right, so let's go through and now work out our shapes. So first off, we have the simpler shapes, which I've broken up here. We have shape number one here, which is a rectangle. And we have shape number two here, which is a semicircle. So let's work out our areas. Okay, shape number one here, we have a rectangle where the area is equal to the length times the width. All right, let's do this. Okay, so what is the length of this shape here? It's six meters. What's the width of this? It's four meters. So six fours are 24. We have our area of 24 meters squared. All right, now we're gonna work out the second area that we have here, which is of a semicircle. And how are we gonna work that out? Well, we're gonna work out the area of a circle, which is pi r squared, and we're going to halve our answer. So the area of a circle, or the area, I guess, of a semicircle is going to be pi r squared divided by two. We're gonna halve our answer. All right, so pi is equal to pi, and the radius here is this halfway measurement. As you can see, the halfway of this entire circle, if I was to put the whole lot out, would be, from the center to the edge, would be three meters. So three times three, because we have squared, which is the radius squared, three times three, and this is over two. If we work this out, well, what do we get? We get our answer, which is going to be 14.4 meters squared. All right, cool. Now, how do we go through and work this out? Well, we're going to get area number one here, and we're going to add area number two to it. So the area of one plus the area of two. We can do that fairly simply without rewriting everything. 24 plus 14.4, our answer is going to be 38.4 meters squared. Anyway, that's how you go through and work out the area of composite shapes. It's really not a very hard thing to do. You just have to be systematic about how you do it. Break it up into those particular shapes. It doesn't matter. You might have four, five, six, seven shapes. Break it up into those shapes and slowly and systematically go through and work out the areas of each and then add and subtract using logic as you go along. Anyway, hopefully you liked that video and hopefully it was some help. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up and put a comment in the comments. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.